We are finally at the last question of the grade 12 November 2019 CAT, Computer Application Technology Practical Exam or Paper 1. As I said, we're with question 7, the last question, which is the integrated question. So let's finish this paper off strongly. So we're going to be working on a couple of files in this question. So we start off with the Word document and we must add an automatic caption to the picture and use the sentence below it as the caption text. So let's have a look. So there's our picture. And we want to use that as the text. So I'm just going to save time and copy this text. I'm going to copy it. Let's go copy it. And then we want to click on the image and we want to insert a caption, which is on references. So click on references and we want to insert a caption. There we go. So the caption and it's figure one. And I'm just going to paste that text. Put a little dash there so we can separate it. So there we go. An abstracted view of the Taj Mahal. It's a figure. And we want it below. They didn't say anything about where. Just add an automatic caption. That's all they want. Click OK. And there is my automatic caption. Easy. Next is accept only changes made by author ABC. Ah, so that's on the track changes. So let's go look at review. And we want to look at the track changes. So we're going to go accept. We're going to see all the changes. So we can go. Let's go view the viewing pane. So let's go put it on the vertical part. And we can see there's ABC and DF. They've made a couple of changes. So we must, well, let's make sure, accept only the changes made by ABC. So we're going to come here. We're going to right click on that change. That's ABC. We're going to accept that insertion. And ABC deleted that. So we're going to accept that. But we're not going to accept the DF. We're going to leave it like that. Okay. So there we go. I think that's all. And that's it. That's well, That was easy. So we're going to save it. And go to the next question. Okay, so we're going to open up the calculation spreadsheet and we're going to work on the countries one. So the countries, there we are on the countries. We want to insert a formula in B2 to determine if there are two or more words in a country's name. Words are separated by a hash character. There's a hash character, so there's no spaces. So we want to count how many hashes there are, basically. If there are two, then there are two words. So words are separated by a hash. Display a message more if there are two or more words in the country's name and display the message one if the country is only one word. So if it's only one hash, that's one. If it's more hashes, uh, one or more or two more, then it's more hash. Then we must display the word more. So this sounds like a nested if type or an if statement in this example. So let's have a look at what we can do here. Okay, so let's think about this. So you got some some countries that have got multiple words in it and some that have only a, have got multiple, some have only got one. So we definitely want to find the position of the hash. So that's going to be the find function. Let's just think about this. Find, what are we looking for? We are looking for the hash in the text. Okay. So there we go. So that's find the hash in the text. So that'll be four. And it finds the first one. If there's only one word, then there's uh, the hash will be at the last place. So look at, so if we, if we copy this down, I want to show you something. Okay. That's a seven. But if I said equals the length of the text, that's also equal to a seven, but the length of that is not equal to four. Ah, so that's, that's my clue. I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say equals if I want to find, and we can use this space for building blocks. Oh, okay. That's that. So let's, let's use this. We're going to find the position of the hash in that particular text. In that case, it's a four. And then this is going to equal to the length of the text block. And that's going to be a 12. Now, if I copy this all down, all the way to the bottom, boom, I think we're going to do it all the way to the bottom. So that's the position of the first hash. And this is the length of the carry. All the ones that only have one, do you see they are the exact same? That's only one. That's only one. But the moment we put more, those two values are different. So we want to display, they say in column B2, determine if these are two more words, determine the position of the first R. Oh, so it must say one if there's one, more if there's more. So equals if. If the position of the first hash is the same as the length of the word, then there's only one. So then we say the word one. But if it's not, then it must be more. Does that make sense? If the position of the first hash is the same as the, the last character, there's only one word. So this is more. But if I copy that down, that's one, that's one. But there, those two aren't the same. But those are the same. So therefore, it's one. 
Ah, clever. That's sneaky. I like that question. So there we go. Seven marks. Easy. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Work in the sub worksheet. So we're going to come here to the sub worksheet. There we go. What do they want us to do? Use the subtotal feature to display the data as follows. So the data is already sorted according to traveler type. So we're using the subtotal feature and we are displaying it in the traveler type column and we are counting, I assume, the gender. So we're counting the female, uh, number of females for the budget type, number of females for luxury. That's what it looks like it's doing. So let's go, we are at that particular, so let's select all the data. Select it all, boom, boom. Let's go down, there we go. So we selected it all, and we're going to come here to data, to the subtotal feature. And so we want, where do we want it to be displayed? We want to display it in this column. So not in that column, we want it in the traveler type column. And we are not summing the gender. We are counting the gender. So let's see this account options. Count the gender. So we want to display it there. Let's see what that does. Boom. So there we go. It breaks it up there. We can see the budget count is 10. Is that what they wanted? Budget count 10. Luxury count 10. Budget count. Well, yeah, let's look at what we want. That's good. So I'm going to save that. And there we go. That's that question done. I don't think there are any more Excel parts to that. There we go. Now we're going to move on to the database. With the database, open the database. And I've done that already over here. We're going to enable content. And what do they want me to do? Import the data used in the HTML file into a new table named in, in the database. So we use an HTML file to do some importing. Use the first row of data as names. Do not create a primary key. Set an appropriate field size for the first field. So let's go do that. So let's go. We're going to import data so we're going to go get external data we are going to import from a file an html document yes we're going to get from an html document so we're going to go click on browse and it's that seven half if i remember correctly the seven half html file yes that's the file we want i'm going to open it and see what it says import the data into a new table they said they wanted into import the dot into a new table we're going to call it in into a new table. Yes, that's going to be a new table. So let's go OK, see what it does. And it does say that the first row contains headings. You can see that. So the first row does contain headings. You can see it's month and the year. So we want to say yes for that. And use the, yes, do not create a primary key and set an appropriate field size for the first field. So let's go next. Appropriate field size. They don't, we don't set a field size yet. So those, we do not want a primary key, say no to that, go next. And we want to import it to a table called in. So I'm going to type in the word in, and go finish, and it doesn't do everything. Close, so there's my in table, so I'm going to click on it. So we're going to work out, we want an appropriate field size for the first field. So let's think about it. What is the longest month in the year regarding to the number of characters? So I think September is the biggest month in number character. I think it's nine characters. So as long as it's we got up until nine. So I'm going to come here to design view and say that month must have a field size of nine because no month is more than nine characters. So there we go. Let's do that. And yes, we're happy with that. There we go. And that is our question. So just so you know, this is what the data looks like in the HTML file. So that's why it takes the data in the table and is able to extract it like that. So that's quite a nice little feature there. So there we go. That's, I think, all of the question seven. We have done the paper. Well done. Hope you are able to do all the questions for your CAT exam now. If you struggle with any of the questions in this exam paper, I advise you go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, and look at our playlist to find the topics that you need to revise. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.